hosted HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 2! Let's check out the town of Finn, now that we've, uh, well, I don't know if I would say liberated, but yeah, reclaimed the town for the rebel rebellion and all that. Oh, well, not exactly, we just kind of beat the guy who was in charge around here, or something. But, uh, oh, well, good, good. Hmm, well, maybe we should check that out. But yeah, no more captains around here. Unfortunately, there is no one at the bar. It's just still empty. You could go back into Scott's room there, though. But again, no one there. So I guess if you missed those potions earlier, you could still get them if you really wanted. But let's see. Here, they've got some really good white magic spells, none of which I'm going to use. But let's see. Dispel. Well, it does what you think it does. I think it removes, like... What, elemental resistances from enemies or something? I think it's bugged in this version of the game. Yeah, I know that's a real shock to you, viewers. But, uh, let's see. Mini would actually be really good. That's an in It's essentially instant death, really. Because, well, enemies can't cure the status, so you use it on them and they die instantly. It's got the highest base accuracy of any white magic instant death spell in the game. In this version of the game. In the remakes, I think Teleport has the highest base accuracy. So you'd have to wait quite a while to get access to instant death otherwise. But let's see, Fog is the permanent version of the silence status. It inflicts amnesia and yeah, enemies can never recover from that, but I don't like using that. Slow it d does what you think it does. It reduces the number of hits that the target can inflict on you, but it can underflow and go wrap around to the most number of hits or whatever, and they'll pretty much one-shot you no matter what you do. I don't know if that works on your own party members, though. Someone was asking about that. Or wait, someone was asking, Itchy Bailey, does slow work on your own party members that way? And I don't know. I've never tried it before. Maybe another day. But, uh, not today. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Uh, what was it? If you taught, if you used the Wild Rose password on Hilda when you were back at the camp, she just said something like, uh, do not fear, I'm the real Hilda, or something or other like that. Or I'm the real princess, or whatever. So, yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Though I heard the remakes have some more amusing dialogue relating to Firion's encounter earlier with the Queen Lamia, but, uh, well, good for you. Oh, uh, you didn't live that far. I wonder if that's the guy from the throne room who kept on chastising me every time I failed or something. I don't know. But let's see, they got some new equipment here. Nothing that I don't already have. Well, there's a flame bow. I think I found one in a cave earlier or something. But, uh, yeah, not really worthwhile. But the armor is worthwhile. So let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I wonder if anyone actually tells you how to get to Mysidia. I mean, I know where it is, but I forget if they tell us. Okay, well, the first thing I need to do is start selling some of my excess wares. Let's see. Yeah, we don't need the mage staff anymore. Let's see, hold on to the ice shield if you won it earlier, but if you didn't, well, we'll buy one soon enough. Let's see, that is everything there. Okay, so now, let's see, I would like to buy, uh, where is it? Ah, uh, yeah, a giant helm for Firion, eventually. His evasion isn't quite high enough to use it yet, but soon enough, viewers, soon enough. I want to buy it in advance right now, and I also want to buy a couple gold cuirasses that are basically the next upgrade to the Ruby Chris that we had before. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so let's see. I want to give those to Fury in there. Oh yeah, because we got the level up for his weapons and shields there. Yeah, he's got uh, yeah more evasion and another hit multiplier. Hooray! But let's see. If I try to equip the giant helm on him... Let's see, that, yeah, that reduces his evasion quite a bit there, actually. 
but it does greatly increase his accuracy there. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, I want to wait until I get my evasion or my agility up to what is that? Okay, 48, so 53. Once I get it up to 53, then I can equip that. You know, let me check something out here. Let's see, okay, that's six defense. And, oh yeah, that's way more. I was thinking about maybe equipping the Giant Helm, but not the Gold Quiris yet. But uh, no, the difference in defense is way too big to ignore. So yeah, we're going to have to hold off on the Giant Helm there. I do want to get a Gold Quiris for... Uh, Maria here, but uh, not just yet. Soon enough, viewers. Soon enough. And yeah, we can just sell those extras there. And let's see. Well, there's a, uh, what is it, House of Healing there, or whatever they call it in this version of the game. Oh, good for you. Let's see. Yeah, there's another house over here that's not a shop for a change. Hey, hey Paul, how's it going? Uh, dude? But let's see, so, uh, what is it? Anyway, so we gotta find that door in the castle to get to the basement, right? And if you use this keyword with Paul there. Yeah. Okay. Um, how important could it possibly be? Oh, okay. Well, he means the throne room there, essentially. So, I guess, audience for the common folk. But okay. There are some treasure chests in Paul's house around here, but we can't reach them right now. We won't be able to get them for until way later in the game. So, don't worry about it. Did I rest up here? Okay, good, good. There are some trap chests back at the castle that I definitely want to check out. So, let's see. Yeah, let's make a backup here because things might go wrong. We'll see what happens. I know you're hoping that things go wrong. But, uh, yeah, now the castle is repopulated and the random encounters are no more. But, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, maybe we should check it out. Look for a library or something. Oh yeah, well, that's what they were saying earlier. Oh, what do you mean they await me there? I was already there. Oh, yeah, I hope so too. Haven't heard from him for quite some time since we were on the Dreadnought and all that. Holy cow. But yeah, what is the Empire up to now anyway? We haven't heard from them in a while either. I mean, there was that like little bit at the arena, but they haven't like attacked us or anything. But, uh, hmm, I don't know. But all right, let's see. In this chest, we got the Oratome, guarded by monsters. Guess they left some guys behind here, huh? Okay, so let's see. I want to take out the Sergeant Captains up front there. Meanwhile, Maria will go after the Sorcerers in the back there. They have some really annoying spells to deal with. So I want to make sure we've got Shell on Guy there. And then, let's see, yeah, why don't you go after another one? Or we could just get a preemptive strike there. Why not? That's probably going to become my catchphrase for the LP, just because of Furion's high agility there, and we're getting ambushes all the time. It kind of makes it difficult for me to show how difficult some of these enemies are, because they don't have a chance to do anything. Oh, well. But all right, let's see. Okay, so we got Scourge. Yeah, let's just hit everyone there. Unfortunately, this will be a rank 3 battle because of the sergeants there. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I might not get a little work for life there while we're at it. But let's see. Sorcerers, they can cast uh, Fire, Ice, Drain, all at level 8. They can also cast Curse, Stun, Muddle, Doom, Haste, all at level 6 there. Or whatever the translations are for those spells. Charm instead of muddle or whatever. Really, game? Really? The same one we already got? But alright. The, the, yeah, the big problem with the sorcerers is that they can inflict instant death on you. 
but the protect ring protects against that. So that's pretty nice. It's a death elemental. It's the only death elemental spell in the game, actually. Kind of strange, but all right. But yeah, the aura spell, what that does is it's a black magic spell that bestows the target's weapon with some sort of, uh, what is it, creature type property that lets you deal more damage to certain creature types, depending on the level of the aura spell. I forget if that one's bugged too, but the wall there has a secret passage in it. But yeah, the aura spell, or at least as far as like weapons that exploit creature types, like the Werebuster there, they all, they actually work in this game, unlike Final Fantasy 1. So, assuming the aura spell isn't bugged, I, I forget, I never used it, but we do have a treasure here, guarded by monsters, again. So yeah, I actually thought about using the, whoop, no, not there, I want to take that guy. But yeah, I actually thought about using the, which one was that? The aura spell there, because whenever you exploit a creature type, you get uh, 20 more attack power to your weapon there, which is fairly substantial, but not nearly as abusive as Berserk. So I thought, you know, maybe Aura might be a way to have a reasonable, you know, boost to your attack power there. But as, well, as I feel now, I don't think it's really worthwhile because really the only characters who I would care to be able to exploit creature types would be Furion and my guest character, and they already have weapons that can do that. I mean, not every single creature type, but enough of them. And swords uh, coming up here, I think like the next three swords upgrades that you can get exploit either a creature type or an elemental weakness. So, yeah, I don't think aura is really worthwhile, but maybe I'll consider it in uh, another playthrough someday as I go through a secret passage again. Ooh, giant's gloves. I don't think I'll use those, but they are available there. But all right, yeah, so that's everything we can get on this floor. Let's take a look around for some other treasure around here. So you've got lots of treasure to find in the castle today. Now that all the monsters are gone, we can go collect those at our leisure. Eh, a little more money. That was 1,000 gil in the second chest there. Oh, okay, no secret passage. Never mind, then. I'll take the long way around. Hmm, what's with those stairs on the right there? And there's a room in the lower right, too. Hmm. Well, remember that for later, viewers. Okay, that was not where I wanted that guy to go. But, uh, dude, okay, I can push you all the way to the chest I'm looking for. Thank you. That's one way to do it. If only I could jump over characters to not have to worry about them getting in my way. But sadly, I cannot. Not in this version. Or not in this game in any version, I think. Okay, thank you for walking straight into a wall there, dude. What do we got here? Oh, really? Okay, uh, what, what's in there? I mean, besides, you know, a mirror. Anything special going on in there? I don't know. Maybe we should check it out. I mean, what, why do you need a whole chamber for a mirror anyway? I mean, it's just a mirror. I mean, were mirrors, like, really expensive back in medieval times? I would imagine so, maybe. What do we got? Hey, all right. Well, remember this room for later, viewers. This room is... Not going to be important for quite some time, actually. There's still a lot of game left. We're just over, a little over halfway through the game. This is a really long game. I uh, timed my test runs that I did, and at least the last one I did was just a little over 26 hours. So That's because of the game has an obscenely high encounter rate. Not because of actual content, but it still is quite a lot there. But all right, here we get the Break Spell. Effectively, an instant death spell that petrifies enemies and, well, breaks them or shatters them or 
whatever, once they're petrified. It's a matter elemental spell, if I recall correctly. Let's see, death there is, well, death elemental spell. That is straight up instant death, whereas break, I guess if it was cast on your party members, you'd be petrified, but you wouldn't be, like, dead. For enemies, they're essentially dead. And here, we get the Toad Tome. Well, what that does is it's the... Basically the black magic equivalent of Mini. It's... Uh, when you cast it on enemies, it's the highest base accuracy of any black magic instant death spell. But I am banning that, so I'm not going to be using that. Toad is actually considered a permanent status ailment. I think you need a level 5? Asuna spell to cure it? I, I forget exactly what you need for each level there. Maybe it's level 4, I forget. But uh, yeah, mini is a temporary status, so you would need to use Basuna to cure that, or what else is there? The unicorn's horn that we got and all that. But, or you could just wait for it to cure on its own. But anyway, let's see, up here? So, just like Paul was saying, use the password to find a secret passage. Ha-ha! We could have done this without having to talk to Paul, but, well, I just wanted to show you, hey, here's how you're supposed to know what to do there. Or how you, yeah, how the game tells you what to do. Okay, so the path down here leads to the basement. I don't want to go there yet. Not quite yet. I want to go through another secret passage. Where is it? There it is. There's the second one. But let's see. Oh, sure. How did you get here? I mean, I thought no one knew how to get here or something. But anyway, let's see. Gold armor. That's pretty heavy, so I do not want that. A golden shield. I do want to hold on to, so I could possibly switch it in against enemies that uh, have poison elemental attacks. And most notably, the gold cuirass there. So let's see. Yeah, let's give that one to Maria there. So, let's see. I'm still going to hold on to Ethers for Guy and Maria for now. I, I, what is it? I was saying about using Elixirs there. Yeah, I do want to hold on to Elixirs in the long run, but Ethers still have a place in my lineup here. Let's see. Yeah, let's hold on to the... Well, actually, I suppose I should just put it put that at the bottom of my inventory there. But let's see. All, oh, yeah, I want to hold on to the ice shield there. And, oh, yeah, the giant tom I want to hold on to there as well. Let me see. I don't think I use the the giant's gloves. Let me check. No, no, I don't. But well, I, you can hold on to them if you wanted. But uh, everything else, yeah, there's not much of a point there. So, at this point, you, you're probably supposed to go through the basement right now, but since the plot has directed us to say, hey, go to Mysidia and check on what's going on with Minwoo there, I'm actually going to go there first. Not just because of that, but also because there's some really good stuff that we can pick up there. But does anyone at Mysidia know where Minwoo went? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 2! This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!